Okay. F zero. Oh, is it coming to this to the SNES? Oh, bro, that's what I was saying. I literally said that they should do this with that series. All right, so I've been playing Baldur's Gate all day, so I haven't seen um this direct or this PlayStation um state of play. Uh, I've tried to avoid it. The only thing I really know is uh, one of my friends did tell me that we were getting a new Final Fantasy trailer. Which, you know, is cool. So I'm going to start off with Nintendo. This song already reminds me of Factory Investigation from Kirby. I do like the aesthetic. It reminds me of Portal and Metroid Dread a little bit. I like this music. Is this like a survival mode sort of thing? Hello everyone, I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. You just saw a new trailer for Wave 2 of the Splatoon 3 Expansion Pass DLC, Side Order. This brand new story is set in the Spire of Order. The art direction of this is pretty cool. characters' abilities as you ascend the Spire's floors. We are developing this single player DLC so it can be played over and over again. It's planned to release in spring 2024. Oh, dang, so look forward to it. Okay, let's see our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Many people wait for a single player DLC that long. The toys are back in town. Oh, uh the mini Mario game. Donkey Kong. Mario. The Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Up on the game Boy Advance yeah. System, this game is pretty fun. Nintendo Switch system. With his eyes on the prize. It's cool they're coming out with a new one. Kong has stolen all the mini Mario toys from the factory. And it's up to Mario to track him down. In each stage, contraptions and other challenges await. I feel like puzzle games aren't that popular nowadays. Vital to your success. But maybe that's just Mario me. Needs to reach the key. I love puzzle games. Quite cross the gap. Hmm. That monkey's tail looks a little suspicious, though, doesn't it? If Mario does this, now he can get across and safely grab the key. Platform too high? Reach it with a handstand jump or a backflip, like that. 
observe and act to collect mini Marios, clear stages, and face Donkey Kong head on. In this updated version of the game, you can play with a friend in local co op. Oh, is it the OG version? However, you it's just a remake, remaster. Through, it's up to you to recover the toys. Mario vs. Donkey Kong it is. launches on Nintendo okay. Switch February 16th. Pre orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. <laughs> Save the Prince, Prince of Persia? and the world. You got dreads now? Guide Sargon as he sets off to save the Prince of Persia and restore oh, okay. the world's balance. Tapping into the roots of the Prince of Persia series, this game features 2D side scrolling action adventure gameplay. Dash through breathtaking environments in a mythological Persian inspired world, but don't linger too long if you hope to survive. Harness sword and bow techniques, as well as time powers, to best these hostile lands. As your journey progresses, Sargon will grow stronger and learn new abilities that expand his arsenal. Equip amulets to further boost your abilities, among other perks. The number of amulets you can equip is limited though, so choose wisely. Use everything at your disposal to navigate this harsh world and defeat the mythical beasts that stand in your way. Get ready to save the prince and discover the mysteries of Mount Calf. When Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, That's launches fun. on the Nintendo Switch system January 18th, you can receive the in-game like Warrior a Within Switch outfit game. by pre-ordering the game from Nintendo eShop. These games will help you chase your passions. Rev up for true arcade racing in Horizon Chase 2. Speed through stunning environments, each with its stunning own dynamic environment. art style while overtaking <coughs> rivals on the road. Play the main campaign to unlock vehicles, courses, um. and more. You can also upgrade your vehicle okay. and style it to fit your high-octane needs. Itching for more racing action? Up to four speedsters can put the pedal to the metal in couch co-op This looks or very online. mediocre, I'm not gonna lie. Go full throttle in Horizon Chase 2. Launching on Nintendo Switch later today. Warm up for musical mayhem in this rhythm-based adventure. I like the music. Time your button presses with Yo! music to solve puzzles. Is this? I love. <gasps> Over 30 thrilling tracks await, including music from iconic Konami games. Mm, 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 Up to four friends. No way! This is dope. Or jam I I love this song. I used to play this song on Step Mania. Super Crazy Rhythm Castle launches on Nintendo Switch November 14th. Pre-orders begin today. What's it called? Nintendo Smooch. It's called Smooch. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That was like super random. Anya Forger has a new assignment from school. Creating a photo diary. On weekdays, you'll head to class. Then enjoy family time in the Spy evenings. family. On I haven't time, actually watched the show. You can visit all sorts of exciting places. Like the beach or an art museum in search of subjects to photograph. How will you spend your time with friends and family? And what kind of photo diary will you help Anya make? Spy Anya Operation Memories launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Mario's first RPG adventure returns. Mario RPG, dude. The Super Mario RPG game is, is back dope, with man. updated graphics. <laughs> Let's go over some new and returning gameplay features. Okay. Time your button presses with action commands to increase damage dealt or Man, to increase damage received. I'm very ready for when this. When you time your attacks perfectly, you can now damage all enemies at once. Okay. I wonder if you can talk about that all. Every successful action command will fill this gauge. When it's full, you can unleash the three character triple move. Depending on your current party, the move will change, so experiment with different combos. During your adventure, you'll encounter bosses with colorful personalities. After clearing the game, you can fight some of them again. But these powered up bosses aren't gonna be easy. Oh, what? Rematch? Rematches? That's Yoko Shimomura. 
Set off for adventure with Mario and friends when Super Mario RPG launches on the Nintendo Switch system not November that far. 17th. Pre-orders are available now. I'm definitely on gonna play that Shop. as soon as it comes out. I've been asking for Paper oh. Mario. Look alive. We're almost there. <sighs> the Nintendo DS game Trace Memory returns on the Nintendo Switch system as another code to memories. One day, a young girl named Ashley receives a letter from the father she thought had passed away. Seeking answers, she sets off for the solitary Blood Edward Island in search of him. Once this there, song is Ashley Mars encounters puzzles energy. and obstacles that hinder her like investigation. Specifically, like a chain of memories type thing. Okay, it's like an adventure game. Can you see me? She also meets a mysterious boy. What truths await Ashley in this place? And no matter how hard I try, I can't remember Dad's face. The music, though. It's good music. Who are you? The sequel, Another Code R, Journey into Lost Memories, previously unreleased in North America, is also included. So this is like Juliet, huh? Play both games to experience the full story. Unravel both adventures, fully enhanced for Nintendo Switch, when another code, Recollection, launches January 19th. The art for this game looks pretty good. Pre-orders begin like today it. on Nintendo eShop. Another code, Recollection, includes two games, the Nintendo DS game Trace Memory and its Wii sequel, which was never released in North America. Both games are fully enhanced on Nintendo Switch. Please look forward to playing them early next year. Next, please take a look at this. Oh, uh, Mario Wonder? <laughs> One day, a loyal toad presented a flyer advertising a um, show at the Sparkle not. Theater. Princess Peach and some toads went to go see it, but then... Oh, is this the Peach game? The Wicked Grape and the Sour Bunch suddenly made their grand entrance and took center stage. Now, it's up to Peach and the theater's guardian Stella to save the play and the day. This perfect performance has become a terrible tragedy. Luckily, Peach can use the power of Stella's go super ribbon to face Never off mind. against the Sour Bunch. I was mistaken. The ribbon alone won't always cut it, though. This looks pretty good. So let's do this. Whoa! Peach transformed into Sword Fighter Peach. What? By transforming, we need that in Smash. Fantastic show-stopping abilities. Fend off the Sour Bunch with sensational swordplay. This is, this is Can Peach dope. save this performance kind of... and its performers? There are more stolen shows to save. Well, she has now different types. From this museum, is this going to have like a Gex kind of thing where depending on the level, she changes her gimmicks? And track down who done it. That's pretty cool. Desserts have been snatched from this sweets festival. Turn into patissier peach and save it from a sugar crash. What? I love games that like balance a bunch of different like genres like this, like um how Tron Misadventures of Tron Bond did. I love games like this. Beans. What? We got Kung Fu Peach? Oh! I need that in Smash. I need that in Smash! Many other transformations are just behind the curtain. The stage is set. Our leading lady is ready for the spotlight. This game looks great. Princess Good. Peach Showtime makes its debut on Nintendo Switch March 22nd. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. That was a new look at Princess Peach Showtime. 
In Peach's latest adventure, the gameplay changes depending on her transformations. It looks like there are more transformations beyond the <coughs> one we showed today, so please stay tuned. Let's continue with some more headlines. Headlines? Okay. A new saga Can you do saga game? I haven't played any saga games. A multi-layered RPG but I have a lot of friends rich stories like awaits in Saga Emerald Beyond. There are six heroes to choose from. A young man who fights with sentient puppets. <laughs> a witch disguised as a schoolgirl to mask her identity. A crime-fighting duo chasing down a mysterious organization. A songstress mech who lost her voice and body. And a king of darkness who was recently reawakened. Select a hero, then follow their journey through 17 interconnected worlds as they strive to achieve their goals. How the story unfolds is in your hands. The choices you make can unlock different paths more than ever before seen in the Saga franchise. Fight in timeline battles, turn-based combat in which turn order is crucial to victory. Use special techniques to control the order of actions. Or oh, I like the mechanics. I love games with the mechanics in your favor. that have depth like this. Saga Emerald Beyond launches on Nintendo that Switch fun. next year. I don't know how. The legendary raider returns. What? The first three Tomb Raider games. Remastered of the, the original Tomb Raiders. Oh Switch man, that's in so one dope. Daring collection. As the fearless archaeologist Lara Croft, you'll travel the world and face it's off gonna be against these games with actual even decent controls. Because those games were so good, but the controls were so through awkward back then. Spanning different countries and mythologies. Wow. Along the way, you'll solve puzzles to uncover treasures of the ancient world and unravel mysteries so lost dope. to the ravages of time. This faithfully the remastered OG trilogy comes with all of the expansions Raiders. and secret levels for each game. You can also toggle between the original polygon what? look and the upgraded visuals at any time. Tomb Raider 1 through 3 remastered, starring cool. Lara Croft, launched on the Nintendo Switch. I loved Tomb Raider 14. games when I was younger. Pre-orders but begin They were kind of hard on Nintendo eShop back then cuz the controls like were very awkward for their time. This detective's got a second bolt of brilliance. Every great detective starts their day early. This is Rhyme City, a place where humans and Pokémon coexist. The detective duo of Pikachu and his partner Tim investigate various cases while searching for Harry, Tim's missing father. Tim interviews people, Pikachu interviews Pokemon, and they find the truth together. They'll also rely on other Pokemon to broaden the scope I of their investigations. That. Follow sense with Growlithe. Smash rocks with Darmanitan. And peer through walls with Luxray. Peer through walls? Oh, okay. can, can Tim you do and that? Pikachu solve all thing. the mysteries and find Harry? <coughs> find out when Detective Pikachu returns. Launches on Nintendo Switch October 6th. Pre orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. This game's a real toot. <laughs> Raise your brass. Trombone the quirky game. rhythm game, Trombone Champ. Trombone Champ. Okay, yeah, that looks fun. Play the notes in time with the music as best you can. But how you play that horn is up to you. Can you use the... Oh, bro, I hope you can use it. You can use gyro controls to adjust gyro? the pitch. Oh, bro, that would be down. that's actually fun. Or the IR motion camera on the right Joy-Con controller. The controls are what? pretty oh, unique. You can. <laughs> Mastering every control that's pretty dope. won't be a walk in the park. That looks fun. Honk your way through nearly 50 songs spanning various genres, from classical to electronica and everything in between. Plus, up to four musicians can band together in local multiplayer. 
trombone champ slide. <laughs> look, that actually looks really fun. I might actually pick that one up. Battle your way to victory in these Nintendo Switch games. Ten teams of three will duke it out for survival in this online battle royale brawler. Knock your opponent's health down to zero and deliver a finishing blow or shove them off the collapsing terrain to win. Uh -oh. Choose from 15 heroes, each inspired by a different mythology. Work with your allies to be the last team standing. Battle That's Crush awesome. is free to play and launches first for consoles on Nintendo Switch next spring. A closed beta test will be available this October. Lead your mercenaries to fame and fortune in this open world tactical RPG. Take up open world tactical RPG? From protecting townsfolk from By Baldur's Gate? To vanquishing the land's most notorious figures. Before battle, equip your mercenaries with the best gear and skills to claim victory and live to see another day. Okay. Up to four players online can jointly command a troop and journey together across this four vast player world. Online. Okay. War Tales launches as a timed console exclusive on Nintendo Switch later today. Run and gun in this reimagining of the beloved That's like on my radar because I'm playing Baldur's Gate Contra. right now, co op, and it's Blast like through so explosive good. stages with a devastating arsenal of weapons to crush the Red Falcon forces. Spring into action Dope. with easy Contra. pick up and play controls and a variety of difficulty options. This reimagining from Konami and Way Forward features new weapons, enemies, powerful super attacks, and a four player co op mode. Contra Operation Galuga storms onto the Nintendo Switch system early next year. Okay. Liberate your kingdom. Reclaim your destiny. Is this oh, that looks like Final Fantasy Tactics. Tis a grievous tale which speaks of Febrith. Maybe it's stolen like that. destiny, stolen minds, and stolen nations. What is that? Yet, as the world stands consumed by immense evil, oh, it looks like it's rise again, from the Dragon's Crown. Lighting his path. Like that is the ring of the what unicorn, is this? ancestral oh. treasure of Cornea's royal lineage. Legend speaks of your ancestors wielding it to purify evil. Yet the answer is clear as day now. The path before us is laid bare, and all that remains now this is looks to walk good. it. good. Walk it, I will, mother. Freely traverse an expansive world. Gather new allies. The art, though. Forge your bonds. And lead the liberation to glorious victory. Cultivate a grand army with over 60 unique who makes, Why can't I remember who makes Dragon's Crown? Is it Atlas? To massive beasts and heavenly angels. Today marks our first foray into the mists of despair which hang heavy over our home. It may take days, months, Bro, or even it's years, definitely... But I shall see the duties of my bloodline fulfilled. Hold up, Atlas dude. And Vanillaware. It is Vanillaware! The rebirth of tactical fantasy RPGs. Unicorn Overlord. That looks raw. Available March 8th, 2024. I'm definitely getting that. Luigi's Mansion? I actually haven't played a Luigi's Mansion game. Luigi's Mansion 2 okay. HD. Okay, it's HD. Welcome to Evershade Valley, a place that's screaming and teeming with the supernatural. Luigi, our faint of heart hero, was sent here to check it out. Time for some mansion mayhem. No spooky adventure is complete without this vacuum like device, the Poltergust. Use it to light up dark areas, vacuum up objects, and interact with the environment. It's a handy tool for your paranormal escapades. Plus, when you spot a ghost, pop! You can stun them with the strobe ball, then vacuum them up. 
You can even no, I never thought about it. I probably like this game just because I, I like um, Ape Escape. In this game, you'll and it feels like it'd be kind of similar. A former plant research lab. A broken down clock factory that's full of sand. A mine covered in ice and snow. And even more places. These troublemakers will use every trick in the book to block your path. Can Luigi summon his courage and save the day? Looking for other ghost hunters? Up to four players online can do some exercise okay. across different multiplayer modes. Oh, cool. Oh, it's multiplayer Luigi's mode, Mansion 2 HD That's okay, creeps but... onto Nintendo Switch next summer. I'm looking for games with like a co-op campaign. How was that? Next, we have two announcements to share. First, Please take a look at this video. What's that? It's a large question block. Actually, this question block currently appears on the roof of the previously announced Nintendo Gallery that's under construction in Uji City, Kyoto oh, really? Prefecture. The official name of this gallery will be the Nintendo Museum. That's pretty cool. Okay. At the Nintendo Museum, a wide variety of Nintendo products from the company's history will be displayed. Construction is going well, and we plan to finish up by March 2024. Okay, that'd be neat. That'd be kind of cool. We'll share more information, such as the opening date, at another time. Please stay tuned. Next, we'd like to share some updates on upcoming Amiibo figures. The Zelda and nice, Ganondorf nice. Amiibo figures are releasing on November 3rd. And amiibo figures of Noah and Mio from the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 game will be released as a set on January 19th, 2024. I kind of like his design. That's a pretty cool design for a character. And finally, we have a new amiibo figure to announce. The DLC fighter from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Sora from oh. Kingdom Hearts, is on the way. With the release of Sora, everyone is here from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in amiibo form. Please look forward to its release next year. Those are gonna go crazy, bro. People are gonna lose their minds for those. Today's amiibo announcements. Next, please take a look at this. Okay. F Zero. Oh, is it coming to this? To the SNES? Oh, bro, that's what I was saying. I literally said that they should do this with that series. Classic F Zero courses with machines from the original Super NES game. Bro, what? Oh, that looks so fun. But be careful. Your power meter will That looks so fun, dude. If it hits zero. You crash. Oh, that looks so fun, dude. Oh my gosh. Please tell me this is out today. Feeling risky? Spend some of your power meter for a temporary speed boost. I was saying because F Zero's issue was it was like really super sparks. Really difficult. To boost up to and it's going to be hard to make that game palatable for people nowadays. It's your best chance but if you... Your rivals and jumping wow. Into your position. But yeah, if you turn it into a battle royale, and like in the way of Pac-Man 99, dude. For your machine. What? Oh man, that looks fun, dude. I hope that's one of the free games with the Nintendo Online. 99 players. One winner. It's time to race your way to first place. Now this is a this is a zero ninety nine will be available exclusively for active Nintendo Switch online members later today. Oh bro, I'm I'm probably gonna boot that up before I go to bed, even though it's mad late already. I'm 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 gonna try it out anyway. Zero is back as a battle royale game. This title also supports the Super NES controller available exclusively oh, man, for Nintendo so Switch dope. online members. We hope you will give it a try and aim for first place. Okay, let's continue. Oh, with that more looks so fun. That's like the perfect way to make that game. Hero, one humongous problem. 
Welcome to Vandal City, a whimsical land inhabited by small fuzzy beings called Yordles. After a party okay, that's they look like wild, familiar. the portals from the land together collapse and throw everything into chaos. It's up to you and your knitting magic to stitch Vandal City back together. Journey across the land to gather materials and craft items and meals for the locals. As you continue gathering and crafting, you can weave together new upgrades by unlocking more branches of the skill tree. Enchant your experience even further by embarking on quests and hosting festivals for the community. Can you save Vandal City? And what mysteries will you discover during your magical adventure? Vandal Tale, a League of Legends story, mm -hmm. launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Wait, did you hear that? Join best friends, Nunu and Willem, on a journey across the frozen wilds of the Freljord. Jump, climb, and sled your way through a beautiful yet treacherous land, where every step taken and each puzzle solved will bring you closer to the truth about these friends and their past. Song of Nunu, a League of Legends story, launches on the Nintendo oh, they're coming out with a bunch of, like, League of Legends spinoff games. They also got the today fighting today game coming out. I'm pretty hyped for that. That looks really good. Let's move into four. Let's go! I love WarioWare. I think I played the last one, too. This tropical resort contains tons of micro games that'll get your body moving. It's like a full-fledged classic warrior. You get into a specific pose oh, called dude. a form. Copy the form yes. shown, then oh, perform man. the correct action as quick as you can. I'm so ready for this. The last one was cool, and it had like a unique gimmick. I forget what it's called, but like it was played different. One after another. But this is like a more traditional warrior, so I'm like really excited for it. Plus, up to four players can battle it out in party mode. Reach the goal without getting caught by Medusa. Freeze. Or settle the score in an arena to be the last one posing. With over 200 lightning fast micro games and multiplayer oh, modes of like everyone's in for a wacky time. Wario Wear Move, Move It launches on the Nintendo it's Switch system November 3rd. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. A heroic tale will soon unfold. Lead an army of over 100 heroes into battle the art and put an really end to an empire's invasion. Yeah. In Meet Noah, a humble Chronicle. villager. Sane, an They're really putting them from pixels the empire. to work. And Marissa, a forest guardian. Oh. I like her design. These three band together to fight for a common goal. On their journey, they'll meet a variety of heroes who can join their cause. This is your home base, known as the headquarters. As allies join you, additional facilities will become available. You'll be able to tend crops, open shops, and more. This game looks fun. Each hero you encounter has their own I think they did a good job with the art style. They may not always get along at first, but these conflicts may strengthen the bonds between your heroes. Trust, betrayal, justice, and truth. A heroic tale will begin when Ayudin Chronicle 100 Ayudin. Heroes launches on Nintendo okay. Switch April 23rd. This game looks really good. I'm, I'm very interested. The art style is really attractive to me. Participate in some pixel perfect play. Okay. More pixel stuff. Sea of Stars, maybe. Next stop, Octopia. Travel to a charming Eastward, parallel world Octopia. in this paid DLC for Eastward. I don't know what Help Eastward Sam is. Help Sam and John turn the pages of a new but chapter as they adjust to country life in a mountainside village. Tend to livestock. Okay, so it's basically culinary Harvest Moon. delights for your neighbors. Darn. And restore buildings to help the village thrive. And if you're new to Eastward, don't worry. You can access the DLC even if you haven't played the main story. Eastward Octopia ventures onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Great art, though. Get back into the groove. Nice. 
In this sequel oh, to War Two. Groups, I didn't play the first one, but I want three to. Tactical campaigns I really like them. Factions, I love rhythm the game. Mouse folk faction, the and I really like uh, what was the original? Or not the original, but now uh, Advance Wars. Your commander's group to unleash devastating attacks. Lead a roguelike offensive in conquest mode. Battle friends locally or online. Or create and share your own cutscenes and campaigns. War Groove 2 marches onto Nintendo Switch as a console exclusive October 5th. Get out of my way! Pre orders begin today on Nintendo Switch. I like it. Man, there's a lot of good. I, I like. I like this uh, direct man. There's a lot of games that are really appealing to me. Dive and catch fish by day, then serve them as sushi by night in the aquatic adventure Dave the Diver. Use the fish you've caught to concoct recipes and create the day's menu. Then tend to the clamoring customers at your sushi restaurant. Okay. Explore an ever-changing underwater world to find the best ingredients and strive to exceed culinary expectations. Dave the They're Diver really going crazy with pixel art these on days. The Nintendo Switch system October these games 26th. all look like really good. Normally I'm like, eh, 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 but like everything today. they've really shown me, I'm like, okay, I can see myself playing in some in some way. Final wave is racing in. Uh, the Here's final, a sneak final peek levels. at Wave 6, the final wave of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC. From the Mario Kart Wii game, Daisy Circuit. More returning characters are also being added in Wave 6. From the Mario Diddy. Kart Double Dash Let's game, go. Diddy Kong. From Mario Kart okay, Wii, Funky Kong. Funky Kong. And from the Mario Kart Let's Tour go. game, Pauline. Pauline. Kind of dope. And also, Peachette. Wave six of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster like Pauline. Pass DLC. I can see Mario myself Kart using Pauline. Game drives onto Nintendo Switch. Also, like Bowser, holiday. I use Bowser in Mario Kart. Active Nintendo Switch Online Plus expansion pack members can enjoy this DLC at no additional cost. The DLC can also be purchased on its own. Something new is among oh. us. What? More levels for Among Us? Okay. <laughs> That's pretty neat. And the phone book. This new map for Among Us is free and launches this October. Okay. What did you think? Are people still playing that a lot? That Thanks game's pretty fun. With us this far. Next up, we'd like to recap some of the previously announced Nintendo titles you can look forward to playing from September onwards. Word, Let's word. take a look. Yeah, I forgot about this until like a day ago. I'm I'm probably gonna get the Pokemon DLC. I'm just this Baldur's Gate, bro, is like blowing my mind. This is a good lineup. Good lineup. Yes, sir. Coming titles. This is good. 
This next video will be our last announcement. Please take a look. No way. I'm about to lose my freaking mind. Rogue port? That was in your door? <gasps> Bro, it looks so good. Oh my god, it looks so good. It's like mad late. I can't yell, but I'd be yelling if it was daytime, bro. No. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, bro, that's my favorite chat. Dude, I can't even right now. It looks so good! Dude. I do wish we would have got Paper Mario 1 Remaster 2 though. I understand they have Paper Mario 1 already on the sword, but man, I, I loved like Paper Mario 1 so much. I really wish, I really wish we got number one remastered too. They should have did both of them. I know that's like a little greedy of me, but they should have did both of them. But this this works. I'm happy with this. Next year, okay. I'm happy with this. Paper Mario. Oh my gosh, dude! Oh my gosh! Enhanced graphics. Oh, it looks so freaking good. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Oh man, I I Okay, hold up. Bro, if that happens if that like how do I can I Oops. Not that, not that. Okay, I don't. Um <laughs> Bro, my brain can't even like comprehend this. If if it was daytime, bro, I probably would have hopped up. But it's like so late. You guys don't even know. I don't even want to say what time it is. But trust me, it's late. And the best part is, this could be what leads to a real Paper Mario 3. Although it's not Paper Mario 3. I'm I'm okay. Like at this point, I kind of gave up on that, having a Paper Mario three ever. So, you know, what I mean, a, a, a remaster or two that that works for me. That will that will that will satisfy me. Um, because I've actually been avoiding playing it again, so that it's still gonna be fresh when I play it. Um, I did play it, but I played it like. When I played Paper Mario 2 last time, probably like 2015, so that was what, like 8 years ago? So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. Um, overall, this direct was really good for me. I know for everyone, it probably wasn't their cup of tea. I know a lot of people aren't really into pixel pixel art games and stuff, but like like the games that they showed, like 
visually really appealing to me mechanically i'm kind of stuck in the past i miss games that look like that so for me this is like a perfect kind of direct i won't say perfect because we got paper mario 2 and not paper mario 3 but it is you know good enough um but yeah um with that being said uh i am trying to create more content frequently so if you did enjoy this please um like this and subscribe if like you know you want to see more uh just me talking about video games and stuff because i want to be doing this a lot more also making more smash content and just uploading matches and stuff like that um but yeah my goal is 10 likes if i can get 10 likes like that means i'm on the right spot now let me know okay like you know doing more reactions and stuff like this i can't believe we got paper mario bro i'm still in awe like that's crazy um but yeah uh thanks for watching peace